Okay, hello everyone. I'm going to be going over how to um, use Canopy Lab and use all the materials that we have made in Canopy Lab. So the first thing you're going to look up on Google is student.canopylab. Canopy Lab, sorry, I forgot the why. Canopy Lab. Dot com. Make sure you type that full link or click on the bio that is in our profile so that you can access and sign into your account. So let me log out of my account and show you guys how to access your account. So it'll take you to a page like this that says sign into Canopy Lab. Here you'll have your username, your email address, and um, or your email address and your password. If you don't have an account already, you can press sign in, then enter all of the information over here. Um, so you can put your first name, your last name, um, your email, your username, your password, and your date of birth and your gender, and make sure that you click yes for the term of services. Um, so for me, I already have my account, so I'll just go ahead and log in. So it just signed me in, and this is what I see in my profile. And to this page that'll show your profile, it'll show people following you and your followers, and like you can edit your biography and the courses you take. So to access the course, you press this little search bar right here, and sure you look up the following, Youth Activism Toolkit, How to Start Your Own Student-Led Movement. And once you type that in, the third bar says the Youth Activism Toolkit from Justice in the Classroom on how to start your own student-led movement. I click on that, and then it takes me to the course, and I am now able to take the course. So the first thing I see are a bunch of images that Justice in the Classroom has made, the uh, division of the units, and exactly what our unit is covering in this place right here. Then we have something that's called knowledge tags, which is from the AI that was developed from the Canopy Lab uh, program. And then we have exercise tags. So there's different exercises that are part of the course. So as you go, you'll see all your units organized here. Um, if I click unit one, I will see an image that'll pop up and I will see like knowledge tags such as leadership and I have video lectures. So make sure you click and watch the video lecture and then go into the material section and watch the videos and the different things that Justice in the Classroom has linked. So for example, here there is a link to a PDF about the stages of activism. So here there's um, information about how you start activism and timelining and things like that in the first unit that covers um, getting started and understanding your power as a student. Then you can go to unit two and see the different materials in unit two. This one particularly covers research. So there is a, a couple activities that you can do. There's a couple videos to watch and there's a couple graphics and images to look at. Um, next, you go down and sometimes a unit might have a required task. So if you scroll down and it says complete two of the two tax tasks below, that means you have to complete one of these tasks. So in order to complete these tasks, it says to read how the how to research infographic in the material section and take some notes on the key idea. So I would go to the material section. There are a couple links. So I'll look through all the links and see which one is the how to research graphic. Then I go through that graphic and then here I can type either, I can either text all the information like um, info graphics like let's say that's what it said in the thing or I can click attachment and upload something in my drive into that um, next so we have unit three we have unit four and you have to complete the certain knowledge tags for that specific unit um, it takes a second to load just because there's a lot of material in it but once you're done with all of the units you can press 
finish course. And when you press finish course, you can, it says like, oh, like since I haven't completed any of this, it says complete these knowledge tags. But once you finish, you can click finish and then you'll be done with our course. And that is pretty much it. Other than that, I highly recommend like watching all the lecture videos because it's really good information and looking through the images that we have provided. Um, and also just like going through every single unit because we worked really hard on creating that and I really look forward to you guys listening to the information that's provided.